We are Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm here with another do-over uh, product review. I lost my earlier footage on this, and the good folks at Banggood sent me this Amvolt uh, mini SDR receiver, uh, a digital receiver. I'm not exactly sure. I do know it's a receiver, and I do know it's stinking awesome because I've been playing with this for a little while, and I've had it longer than I should, but you know, we moved, things got in the way. But let's take a look at this sucker. It is totally, totally awesome. Now it's still got the screen protector on there, so we're gonna just... Yeah, take that off of there. And as you can tell, it's not all that big. It's got a nice telescoping uh, antenna that does remove and if you have an SMA male antenna, you can screw it right on there or some derivative adapter, some such thereof. It's got a USB-C port right here for charging. And it may also be for firmware upgrades. I'm not clear on that yet. And I believe this is for an external speaker or a microphone power switch. It's kind of small, but it's there and a nice opening in the back for a I believe it's a one watt speaker, but let's zoom in just a little bit here and turn it on. Of course, the last mode I have it in, let's turn the volume down a little bit. It's on uh, 20 meters upper sideband. And if I want to change that, Push the button in here once, start rolling through the menu. I, and I can hit brightness, change the brightness of the screen, bring it down just a little bit for the video, and tune it in. I can change the step, bandwidth, I can mute it, automatic gain control, attenuation, software mute, all kinds of little features here. Does seat calibration brightness. I like to go to the band and you can pick 20 meters, shortwave seven, shortwave eight. When it hits 15 meters, it changes back to sideband. Shortwave CB, 10 meters. All which I think you could just thumb through a bunch of frequencies. VHF, broadcast radio. <laughs> and I tell you, it sounds really good. Even with the QRM in my shack, I was really stopped. I was really shocked. Eighty meters, shortwave one, shortwave two, back to forty meters, or, or say forty meters, not back to yet. Let's see if we want to jump to fourteen oh seven four, and let's change the step. We can get there a little quicker. Here inside, here inside my shack with this antenna, we're probably not gonna get much uh, FT8, but I have these clips of video that will show you what happened when I connected it to a infed half wave. Okay, so I thought it would be a good idea just to come outside and let's see what the screen looks like. And we'll, we'll start out in the shade. 
and I've got to get that brightness back up. That's the max for the brightness. Not bad for the shade. Look, we're getting FT8 out here when I'm outside of all the QRM. This is a neat little receiver, y'all. So let's get out in direct sunlight. So this is what it's like in direct sunlight. I can see it with the naked eye, but I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up. It's not horrible. Try to avoid all the glare, but listen to that, y'all. FT8 in the palm of my hand. And it's clear. I need to go turn my rig on. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. So let's go to a broadcast channel. Okay, there's a local radio station, 105.3. And it even does digital... The digital transcode. Let me go back in the shop so I can show you. Okay, this is K-Jams up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 105.3. Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it's 45 miles from here. The sound is awesome, y'all. This is KOKL in Mogi, Oklahoma. It's only about 17 miles away, 10. But it does, does the digital decode of your broadcast FM channels, if it's available for that channel. Don't want to get demonetized. Goes up to 108. Starts off at 64. This station's a little weak, but it's coming in. Beautiful station. It's not offering the digital information channel. Ooh, look at this. The audio is just amazing. This is the classics channel up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is public radio up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I believe, as well. Yeah, this is NPR. National public radio. Cool stuff, right? And then you can just put the antenna back in, stick it in your pocket, and go. Well, there you have it, folks. The Mvolt ATS mini receiver. This thing is awesome. There'll be a link in the description where you can purchase it off of Banggood. And I'm sure you could probably get it in other places, but their deals are really, really good. And this sucker is really, really cool. I'm really a sorry it took me so long to get the review done. Life gets in the way. It is what it is. Folks, this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, saying 73 is wishing all the good signals to be yours. And ham on, y'all.